Are you in the process of writing this epilogue? Or? No, it's all done. It's, it's all done. It's, it's been done. Um, okay. And it's pretty fucking wild, man. But, yeah, it's, it sounds you know it sounds just as crazy. Even in even in death, he, the story sounds even just as crazy. Even in death, I life. mean, it, it gets even crazier, man. You know, the, the, because then after he put that rumor out, then I started getting these death threats. I started getting emails and people with you know with names like the Reaper saying, you know, you're the one, Nikki, that should be six foot feet on the because you're you're the reason why the Ramones didn't play and uh, well, you robbed us of this and. And, and then even C.J. Ramon came out in the press and started saying the same stuff, you know. Oh, shit. All of this is in the epilogue, you know. Oh, shit. Yeah. So now, um, you know, maybe they kind of use that excuse as a scapegoat and that rumor to shed some things like over, you know, just to not have to deal with it. Arturo did about? admit that it was not true. Okay. And, yeah, and, right. And he apologized. Um, and all of this is in the epilogue, too. But it took a while. You still talk to Arturo? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, well, I know he was, him and Joey were really tight. They, they were, yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, we, we, I was tight with Arturo, too. Yeah, know, yeah of course. Yeah. With him, but people got a little crazy after when, when my brother died, and then I guess they had to, Arturo had to worry about who he was going to show his loyalty to. So he showed it to Johnny, and um, but later on he, he realized he said I don't know he didn't know what he was thinking and uh, you know why he did that, but he apologized and admitted that it never happened that I never said this. nobody ever. I mean there was ten other people in the room when, this, mm-hmm. when the, my mother said no we don't want John and uh, and, and my mother my mother said uh, if anybody should sing with uh, with them it should be his brother of course and yeah. and I. Said, Right away, and, and uh, ten people in the room, and Arturo Vega. I said, "No, ma, that not a, not a good idea. That ain't gonna happen." You right. Know? And so. Did you say that because you knew that you know no one could fill Joey's shoes? Did you say that because you knew Johnny would reject it, or that you just couldn't? Because do Johnny it? would reject okay. it. Okay. I mean, it could have been a beautiful thing, and it, it's not not a, not an uncommon thing. I mean, you know. Of course. Yeah. It's quite often, uh, you know, a family member, especially if they are in that business. I yeah, because you even see, like, Jason Bonham play drums for uh, Led Zeppelin now. Exactly, or I they, think. What's the, the one Zeppelin show. Right. Uh, not that I like the band, but uh, uh, with Leonard Skinner, I think the brother took over as the lead singer. Uh, I think so, too. I'm not quite sure. Um, but, he, yeah, he yeah. Did, he did it uh, at, the, at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, oh, yeah then you know. there you go. Yeah. Um, but so yeah, it would have been a nice thing, and they were, uh, you know, uh, and I really, you know, I did do uh, some of my brother's songs that night because it makes, you know, it just makes me feel so close to him when I'm singing his songs. Yeah. I'm not trying to be Joey Ramona, you know, or, uh, you know, um, I don't need to do that. And, uh, but that's the rumor that got started, and uh, yeah, it was a fucking mess, man. It was really, uh, really horrible. And, and CJ saying that my whole family fucked over my brother his whole life, and that this musical family is closer to him. It was really uh, pretty fucked up. Wow. Yeah. So there's uh, more more drama to come. Oh wow! All right. Well, I can't wait for the sequel. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, they decided to hold that for the paperback. Okay. Oh wow! All right. Yeah. Have um now with all of this, I mean, the drama unfolds. Has has this ever been option for a movie? It has. As a matter of fact, I'm really really close to uh we've been negotiating with fox searchlight since uh july okay and i i actually uh this guy pre- optioned it for a movie back in 2006 way before i even finished it because i know it was a joke on the show entourage for a little while that it's funny because as, as right as they were running that that story that curve that storyline i was negotiating with this guy in reality who was optioning the book for a movie oh wow yeah, and the announcement was made after that. 